problem has been mitigated. Right? There's been enough of that problem yet. So these people, there are, there are many forms of expression of uh, shahada that they, that, they, uh, that they achieved. One of them is that they, they will go in the masjid and they'll enter into Jannah with absolutely no accountability. <laughs> and then also that they, they passed away on the day of Jum'ah and it's such a blessed day that as we hear from the hadith that they're not, uh, they have no form of accountability or torture in the grave. They don't experience anything of it. And then another form or expression of that they that they that, that they underwent to achieve this accolade of, of this form of shahada is it was a foul way of being killed. That this person came in such a way, in such a terrifying manner, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would recompense for these people in the next life. So there's not a single So there's not a single archetype of person who's died, the great uh, people of God, the righteous, the people of devotion. There's not a single person that, that had a yearning to go back to the world to experience death again, except the shaheed. The person who's martyred for the sake of Allah and the beauty and the delight which his soul experiences in the next life. That it's the only type of human being which actually yearns to experience that again because of the recompense which takes place for them in the next life. <laughs> So the, the authentic martyr, the true shaheed that passes away, their, their life is an elated form of, of life. Just as we, we could say that the, the fetus in the mother's womb is living, but it's a different expression of living as we live now on the face of earth. Similarly, the shaheed, it's actually it's incorrect to, to use even the term that they died. We don't say that they died. We say that they were they were martyred and because this has a, a, an elated, lofty reality. This person they're experiencing to such an extent that their soul is so so free and so aware and so conscious in this next life of what they're experiencing, beauty and delight and the joy of the akhirah that they're able to see and understand things and even hear about things which are taking place in this dunya. <laughs> So the reality is this, this domain, this space in which we're now uh, uh, residing in, uh, standing in, is a blessed space because it's a place which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala witnessed and people lost their lives and it was a, a shuhada. This blessed, blessed land, this blessed space. And this is a place because these were pure, uh, pristine souls which were chosen to ascend back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And upon this is a place in which they ascended when their lives, uh, his life were taken and they ascended back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They were followed, as we know, by over 70,000 angels escorting them back to the, back to the divine presence. So understand that even though at the face of things, ostensibly this was a, a huge challenge and a, a tragedy for the Muslims, but the, the, the reality which is uh, enveloped within this outward test is that it was a source of beauty and it was a source of goodness and a source of light that was spread not only for the people in this area but for all of the believers. 
ما هم فيه من النعيم من الشهداء لكن نمينا كلنا أن نلحق بهم And the, the reality of it is, will we to have any uh, exposure to the realities of what these people are experiencing now and the, the receiving directly from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we would actually have a hope that we were in their place. So the maqam, we have to understand that these people were killed and they, they attained a maqam, a station, a rank with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that the people that understand the realities of things actually are desirous of and hope and yearn to be of that maqam and that station. Even the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa was narrated in the uh, compilation Sahih Bukhari. He said, I, I, I would hope that I was killed in the path of Allah, then I was revived, brought back to life, then I was killed, then I was revived, then I was killed, then I was brought back to life, because of the realities that the Prophet sallallahu understood which were enfolded <coughs> in this great blessing and this great rank of the, the martyr. Shall it be a, a great means and a key for great openings and true victory in the realities of this deen to spread throughout all of the lands of the believers?